Hey, what's up there guys? This is Chris from VFX On and in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to use a EV Grover plugin. This is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to get it and how to use it. So to get it you basically click the link in description or you can click the link uh, right here and the link will take you to the download and uh, to install you simply uh, put all the content from what you've downloaded into your Cinema 4D plugins folder and it should be already installed uh, next time you open up Cinema 4D uh, there I think at some points if I'm not wrong it can be installed in Python or whatever it's called but uh, it never happened to me. I've I've heard that, that it can happen, but mostly will install in plugins like I have mine here. So, without further ado, let's go and uh, start this quick tutorial. So go to MoGraph, uh, MoText. I'm gonna name this. Um, I'm gonna name this VFX on. Uh, I'm going to set a little bit more depth to it, like so. Um, for the tutorial purpose, I'm not going to change the font. I'm just simply going to show you how to use this uh, plugin. So let's set this steps to 4, no, not 14, 4. Okay, like soft. And uh, now we can start with the plugin. Okay, so go to plugins and IV Grover. Now you can see we have these a lot of different options right here. Um, here you see the materials for uh, leaves for the branch. Um, but what we want to focus is on this tab at growth. So at uh, these settings, I'm gonna set the stop at let's say 150 so basically what it will do it will stop at 150 splines there here you can see the IV size um, if you increase it you will have more depth to the IV um, primary width of the um, IV uh, let's see um, well I'm gonna set it to like 28 and here let's set it to, f I don't know, like, let's go with 56% uh, right there. Uh, gravity width. So, uh, the gravity width, what it does, it will, um, put the higher the IV grows, the more gravity will push it down. So, the more you increase it, Oh, I have it already at maximum, but yeah, the more you have it, the more it will grow downwards as as it if, if it goes uh, more higher up in the air. Okay, so now uh, um, if we go on our screen right here, you can see um, behind my pointer right there, my cursor, you can see that there are these dots or uh, they kind of look like seeds and they are indeed the seeds of the ivy. So. Um, to start growing the ivy, um, let's see, we'll start like here, um, or I could start like here. I don't know yet, where should I start? Uh, okay, we'll start right here. So what you do is you just simply double click, oh, you have to select your text, and now you double click, and you can see this dot right here and if you see the dot that means that you're ready to grow your ivy uh, where did my ivy go um, that's weird okay so, oh here it is uh, so to grow an ivy you simply press this button and grow ivy and as you can see it starts growing so I'll stop right there because it looks all kind of messy and everything so and I and uh, it doesn't look like anything right now, it seems like just simple splines. Um, but to make it look like ivy, you go to birth and you set give birth. So here we go. 
Well, for me, I kind of personally don't like this, how it looks. So I'm gonna, for next, I'm gonna adjust a few settings here and there. So, uh, for example, branch size, uh, I'm gonna decrease that to 0, 0.0, um, to 0 0.037, and leaf size, uh, let's see, well, we can set that the same, and leaf density, I'm just gonna increase, no, I'm gonna decrease that to 0 0.172. Okay, so go, let's see, um, primary width, I'm gonna just increase that, um, okay, so with these settings, um, now let's grow ivy somewhere else, like, uh, where could we grow it? Let's say right here at the X, right there, so let's press grow ivy, and click stop, or we can still continue, like that, and let's now go to birth and give birth. So, as you can see, I adjusted a few settings here and there, and the branch size is too small, and the leaf density is too... Um, it should be increased, so it looks worse than it was. So, okay, let's increase the branch size to 0 0.05, and uh, leaf size will be the same, but leaf density to... Um, 0 0.238 and now if I grow I will grow I'll try to grow them inside the O right there and let's grow Ivy okay stop and let's go give birth so this looks uh, this doesn't look a lot better so I should definitely increase the leaf size and the density, so about like here, like so, um, and and let's see, let's adjust the primary width to about like um, about like 50, and let's decrease the random width to about 27. And now let's grow the ivy. Um, where could we grow? Let's say. Um, Let's say from the bottom right here. So grow ivy. Okay, and give birth. So now it definitely looks a lot better than the second attempt and the third one, but there are too many leaves. So let's decrease that. It's around uh, 0 0.390. Now just a little bit like 300, oh, 302 like that. And we'll give another attempt from here and grow ivy. Okay, we'll stop there and give birth. Well, this looks better, I would have to say. I, I kind of like this. I should increase increase the branch size, so we'll do that. So around 0 0.088 and we will grow them let's say where could we grow right here okay so grow ivy and we'll stop right here and give birth so I kind I kind of don't know it's hard to tell I think um, there should be a little bit the size of branch should be decreased right now so but yeah for this quick tutorial you can see that this effect uh, or this plugin is really cool and to give to make your logo um, you know for your logo it will be just perfect and uh, or you can use it in your intro or something like that uh, but yeah as you can see you have to play around with these settings to get the perfect uh, settings you like. Uh, we can set the default settings right here and I'm gonna test how do they look on the other side of our text right here. And I'm gonna go with Grow Ivy and I'm gonna give birth and uh, well they kind of look like a bush, bush or something. 
this, the first attempt, in my opinion, was the the best one. This is well a little bit too much. Well, okay, a lot of too much of leaf density right there. So, yeah, pretty much that's it for this quick tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, and uh, if you if you need any help or anything like that also feel free to contact me and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe and also maybe you could uh, favorite and share this video so I will see you guys in the next tutorial um, oh one more thing that I almost forgot this is what I in a quick render did with the ivy grower plugin uh, I, it, it looks good, but there are no ambient occlusion, and it was just a quick render to see how how it looks. Uh, the branches are kind of weird right there, but uh, in overall, I think it looks really great. So, so yeah, guys, um, I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.